I think one of the things that I struggled with the most when I was diagnosed with Crohn's in my early 20s was um, just, I guess, about the vanity of it. And I would love to go back to myself at a younger age. Um, and I would love to go up to other people who have been diagnosed, especially people in my situation, um, and basically just encourage them to, I guess I don't really know if I have the right words, but just to essentially own their diagnosis. We can't help that this has happened to us. We can't help that we experience some really uncomfortable symptoms um, all of the time. We can't help that we can't go out and you know go to a college party with our friends because we're on these harder medications or we're experiencing these severe symptoms. And I could go on and on. You know, there are just so many factors um, that contribute to these diseases and and we we didn't get a choice. We didn't ask for this disease. We didn't ask for these medications or this, you know, the things that we have to do to take care of ourselves. Um, but we can make the best of it. And I think that choosing that and, and choosing to have a life and experience the things that you can, choosing joy even, all of those things are possible. It just looks very different. And I think immediately when I was diagnosed, I wish someone would have told me to let go of some of the expectations I had about what my life should be like. Um, with Crohn's disease or what it should not be like because I had Crohn's disease. And I think, I don't want to say I wasted time because I think it took me a while to accept that and that's okay. But I think it's important to remember that kind of, you know, the, along the lines of the quote, like you have to, you know, play the hand of cards that you were dealt and you have to play them well. And I think if I had maybe relinquished some of the control and the anxiety that I had about missing out on things in my 20s, I would have experienced a much um, fuller, um, a fuller life, I think, if I had just kind of accepted that this is where I'm at and this is where other people are at. And maybe my life's just, maybe our lives are just not compatible for each other or with each other right now. And so I think just coming around to the acceptance of that, and it does, it takes time, but I wish I could tell my younger self that it was all going to be just fine. And I didn't need to worry about some of the things that I worried about. 